Hi Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading or love reading for May 2020 and I hope you've enjoyed your weeklies and uh, I hope you will share them I do appreciate it and thank you very much for sharing them and liking them, giving the thumbs up and leaving reactions behind I do try to get back to everybody um, and uh, we've also got a new episode out today on the Witches uh, series. Today we have talked about unseen uh, handicaps or limits as we are calling them and what it means. So go and have a look and we are also discussing the Witches Oracle uh, from Amarla Brooks. Unfortunately, my new decks haven't arrived because that is because everything is at a standstill uh, with export and import. But I'm going to s give you a little bit of information if you would like to join me on Monday, Wednesday or Friday for live sessions and for free cards. Um, you are more than welcome to join the Cyber Family and the Tea Room, as it is called, and you'll be initiated as a Cyber Angel. Thank you to all my beautiful Cyber Angels for supporting and coming back regularly and um, I do appreciate it and I love you all and I love the interaction that we have. It's a beautiful tea room and the respect that everybody has and support for each other is amazing. Also, you, if you uh, are live, you can also do uh, a super chat or a super sticker and then you can ask a question and I will answer that with a small reading uh, three uh, tarot or lenamon cards it all depends what I'm being told to do and an oracle card also you can uh, click on the little white circle here in the screen with the eye and that will take you to the website and there you can see what kind of readings are on offer there is an, a general extended reading for uh, for general or for a romance and uh, you can come back and it will uh, be within the next, uh, next six months once you've had an extended reading and you can have them follow up for a lower price okay let's get started and welcome and this is your reading uh, Aries like I said and the first card you have is the Knight of Wands so you will be getting news and when you are getting news you have to act swiftly directly it is haste 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 because it's a very important message that's coming your way you might also meet a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo this message could be with regards to children perhaps a pregnancy and um, this is your romance for the first week in May I'm sorry Millie is growling uh, she usually sits with me behind me and that's my dog the mascot of the channel and your love life is being um, affected by children perhaps because you haven't got children at the moment or you would like to have children or you have children and they're boisterous because they spent too much time at home with the lockdown <laughs> and they've got too much en energy okay well take care my sweeties and I hope you do have a garden some of us don't have a garden and it does get hard on animals and children let alone grown-ups and they can't go to their grandparents because we all have to stay within our own unit in the second week uh, I think I've got it wrong the wrong way around they should be up here the romance cards so I'll just change that sorry if you look at the other readings it's vice versa because you need uh, clarification on the love cards of course so the love cards is is that you're going to get news but it could be news about children like I said the first card that you have in the second week is passion so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so I think it's going to be good news and it's a new beginning 
so you are in a transformational period well if you haven't if you're not hooked up obviously there could be uh, that you have children and you could be receiving news um, that one of the fire signs is coming in and the children are boisterous at the moment you can't go out because of the lockdown and you need to take care of the children because they can't uh, have a nanny or go to the grandparents so don't be disheartened it will all pass but there is passion there is passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy perhaps um, your prospective part new partner um, is saying yes I do love children and they're being as good as gold perhaps you are already living together or have to stay together um, that uh, let's say hypothetically um, uh, your potential partner or your partner that you were romantically involved in um, has had to stay with you because of the lockdown uh, they were there with you staying a couple of days and now it's turned out into weeks and uh, they are enjoying the children's company and they wish to have a child of their own perhaps that could be uh, the news that's coming forth and this has been a trans uh, transformational period from leaving the old behind of not having wanting to have children somebody that they've changed their mind because they've experienced what children are they are um, a treasure they are the most beautiful thing that we could possibly have and the, this is a transformational period and there is a new beginning it could be a birth it could be a birth that this passion is turning out to be a fully fledged relationship and if you're hooked up then passion is back and you might find out that you're pregnant and that's a totally new beginning a birth is also a new beginning in the third week you've got keep an open mind keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations perhaps this you find out that they are your soulmate and they weren't to your expectations they are totally different and perhaps that is a good thing a totally fresh start totally a fresh new character and you should have an open mind about that that means that you've turned round 180 degrees and that is a good thing because then you can't compare with the old now you've got the knight of cups perhaps it could be a water sign and uh, a water sign uh, that is cancer scorpio or pisces perhaps this person is so sensitive and emotional stable but very sensitive intuitive uh, psychic um, Aries that that is a speciality because you must be uh, interested in the tarot or the Lenormand or the Oracle cards and you have found the click with this person but the Knights bring news and, and with the Knight of Cups he usually comes in on the horse's back on a knight in shining armor on a white horse and he carries a cup so it is an offer an offer of love an offer of uh, perhaps long term uh, like I said if you're not hooked up it could be going up to the next level um, now um, the death card is according to me also a Scorpio the death card indeed is Scorpio and so that is a water sign so this is a Scorpio and two water signs are lying next to each other um, the major a lot of the uh, major arcana cards represent zodiac signs and this is Scorpio so Scorpio is prominent but don't exclude cancer or Pisces now on the fourth week you have a wedding what did I say you your relationship might come up go up a uh, next level or you might be going to a wedding this involves a wedding this situation involves a marriage so um, perhaps um, there was um, 
uh, an invitation to go to a wedding but because of the lockdown it will be extended uh, we'll be getting married at a later date because we've got the page of ones so that might be the news that it is being postponed or delayed it could be your wedding or it could be the wedding that you were invited to now the page of ones the king of ones is Aries and that's you then we've got Leo and he is the que uh, the Leo card represents the queen of ones and the page of ones is Sagittarius so it could be a Sagittarius that's bringing you the news so the prominent uh, characters are the fire signs Sag Aries, Leo, Sagittarius then Scorpio and then we've got Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces um, and the page is Sagittarius so Scorpio and Sagittarius are the most prominent ones perhaps it might resonate with you perhaps it might not if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign definitely this has been happening several times underneath uh, the last card of the deck there is either a 10 or a 9 there's a really good positive energy and uh, now in the cards in May and I think there's going to be big changes now you've got the six of swords that means you might be moving home or going on holiday okay um, this could be a honeymoon because we've got the wedding card here but you're leaving rough waters behind you you might even be crossing water as you can see the boat is crossing water now you've got the nine of pentacles so there's better times coming again an ending of difficult times moving away from rough water so wow you're going into a new period most probably a period of luxury a more luxurious lifestyle you are uh, because you are together you can spend a little bit more money or save money for a new house that could be uh, the the situation as well you might be moving home as I said or go on holiday it is up to you what you wish and that is good news like I said you've got the knight of wands that also means moving home but also news that you have to uh, act swiftly or directly upon uh, Aries so I hope you have enjoyed this reading I hope you stay safe I hope you are well and safe so take care and uh, Thank you very much for being here and everybody that keeps the economy running and working like the shops assistants the nurses the police uh, the fire and uh, fire personnel etc etc too many to name I thank you you're all in my prayers and my meditations and if you would like to uh, receive healings or prayers or uh, blessings then please set the intention and let it come in take care be blessed and stay well love you all and I hope to see you in the live sessions so please share and like thank you